Good morning, Senator Argyll. Thank you for facilitating this hearing. I am Phoenicia Redmond, the Puerto Rican American mom who filed a federal lawsuit on August 24 against Governor Wolf, Attorney General Shapiro, and 20 other def defendants for dismissing my appeals to remove graphic, sexually explicit material from my minor son's public school library. Books available throughout Pennsylvania public schools and the nation. 30 copies of my federal complaint are here for you, Senator uh, Argyll, to distribute to any senator who'd like to read facts. The court further wrote, the federal constitution permits a state to interfere with this right only to prevent harm or potential harm to the child. Federal law, 18 U.S.C., section 1470, transfer of obscene material to minors, states, whoever knowingly transfers obscene material to another individual who has not attained the age of 16 years, knowing that such other individual has not attained the age of 16 years, or attempts to do so, shall be fined under this title, imprisoned not more than 10 years or both. Federal Law 18 U.S.C., Section 1466A, as an apple, obscene visual representations of the sexual abuse of children states, any person who knowingly produces, distributes, receives, or possesses with intent to distribute a visual depiction of any kind, including a drawing, a cartoon that depicts a minor engaging in explicit sexual conduct, and is obscene, or depicts an image that is or appears to be of a minor engaging in graphic sexual intercourse, including whether persons between persons of the same or opposite sex, and I add, are going to jail. What does state-sponsored child abuse look like? Gender queer in my son's library. of an adolescent. Fun home. Cartoons of adult women engaged in... Can you see that from here? Because I have blow-ups if you need it. <laughs> Tantric sex. Coaching oral... Anals... and the desecration of the Star of David. Here you see a man with his finger in the... Do you see that? Push. Graphic detail of a female child repeatedly raped by her father. An African-American child, Senator Street. Let me read you an excerpt. This time, I know mama know. Mm-hmm, she know. She bring him to me. I ain't crazy. That stink will give me to him. Probably that was he required some of me. Got to go where he just come in my room any old time, not just night. Me. Shut up, he say. He slap You wide as the Mississippi. Don't tell me a little heifer get used to it he laugh you is used to it I fall back on bed he fall right then I change stations change bodies I be dancing in videos in movies I be breaking fly just dancing mm-hmm heating up the stage at the Apollo for Doug E fresh or Al B sure they love me Say I'm the, one of the best actors, ain't no doubt of or about that. I'm gonna marry you, he'd be saying. Hurry up. 
He messed up dreaming, talking, and grunting. First, he messed up my life. Then he messed up talking. I want to scream. Oh, shut up. How you going to marry me? And you is my daddy. I'm your daughter. Me illegal. I tried to go back to video, but coming now. Carl now. My been Ms. juicy. Redman, we understand. You've made your point. Push. Where is child and youth services? My apologies to every American that had to hear that. On August 24, I filed this federal lawsuit detailing 10 months of appeals to school officials, police, Attorney General Shapiro's footman to remove this criminal material. Principal Capitola wrote, we encourage students to read books they choose. The investigating detective wrote, there are students in high school that are 18 and over and are allowed to read what they want. The school board has no comment, but violated my First Amendment right when they turned off the microphone and video while I spoke during a public hearing. On June 20, 2022, friends joined me in the Capitol Rotunda, silently protesting this material available to our minor children. Capitol Police Lieutenant Devlin demanded we remove two posters and said, there are children walking these halls. Get rid of it now. That was the day Senator Mastriano saw this explicit material for the first time and did not walk away. Nine days later, I went to retrieve the posters, which are behind me here, covered in black bags because you're not allowed to show them in this room, Phoenicia. I was told my posters were in Governor Wolf's office, that Republicans had met with him that morning to discuss this material, but that the governor was unmoved by this explicit material. So I did what any American would do. I walked through the doors, the open doors of the governor's office, and demanded his staff give me back my posters. But before I left, I took pictures of each and every poster in the governor's office, and it's attached in my federal complaint. Did Governor Wolf call Attorney General Shapiro to demand an investigation? I'll tell you what he did. On September 15, he filed a motion to dismiss my case. Do you know what their first and fourth reasons to dismiss my case were? First, they are, quote, entitled to immunity. And, and fourth, I'm not allowed to defend my son because I'm pro se. Pro se means I don't have a lawyer. If you're watching Wolf, Shapiro, and company, you have lawyers paid by my taxpayer dollars. I don't have a lawyer yet. But the line of Judah, my God knows who they are. And we will see you soon in federal court. <laughs> Senator Mastriano, thank you for having eyes to see the criminal abuse of our children, ears to hear the pleads of Pennsylvania's parents, and the courage to stand against sexual extremists holding our children hostage. Thank you.